Maybe we should start from the beginning. It seems like you must have had some sort of mental trauma. I want you to talk me through it. That sounds like a cliche. Start at the beginning. Well, you know what? I was a scared little boy. I was very scared. How? I mean, I was scared of a puppet on PBS. Um, this might not be mainstream to you or anything with your uh, college education, but there was this show on PBS called Kino Storytime, and it starred this puppet. He was named Kino. And there's nothing really frightening about his looks. I mean, like, nothing really offensive or anything about it. But for some reason, when I was really young and impressionable, maybe like two or three years old, he terrified me. Like, I had nightmares about this puppet until I was like nine. And, like, I had these really vivid nightmares of him coming and murdering everyone in my family. Like, for, for instance, there was this time where, um, like, it was right after I saw episode one. And, yes, I was scared of Darth Maul, too, because he killed my favorite character. Because my favorite character had a green lightsaber. And green, I think, color. It's not anymore. It's orange now. That's a different story. But, like, he... So Kino comes in and, okay, well, maybe I should say that I was hiding underneath a table with a pile of baby heads, which were my younger brothers. But anyway, uh, Kino comes in and he has Darth Maul's lightsaber and he, he just starts killing all the baby heads. And I'm the only one that can protect him, but I don't have anything to protect him. But just this, it's a puppet. And my parents were really worried, so they made me, they made me, let me show you. They made me put something over my wall like a dream catcher. This, Kino is a doofus, no Kino zone. And I had this taped above my bed. I was in like third grade and I had a dream catcher for a puppet and it worked. It's not weird, but, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean. Did I ever tell you I'm, I'm scared of Ronald McDonald when I was a kid? Yeah! Um, back in back in the day in play places, they used to have in several of them like this large fabric see-through Ronald McDonald print that was about 10 to 12 feet tall in each of the play places. And for some reason, the first time I saw it was through this glass door in the McDonald's in Denton. And I saw it, and it just... It... It was like its smug aura mocked me. Like, I just saw that face, and I saw him peering into my soul. And I didn't want to go in that play place like any other normal kid. I'd go in the Chick-fil-A play place. I'd go in a Burger King play place. I wouldn't go in a McDonald's one, because it had that giant Mc Royal McDonald right there. And then we moved to this small podunk little town, and it's McDonald's had a play place. And the Ronald there was even bigger! And to get to the N64 that you wanted to go play because it had Mario Kart and Smash Brothers and all that stuff, you had to pass by the Ronald McDonald. So I started having nightmares about him after I lost the nightmares about Kino. And it was like I was trapped in this room with the giant Ronald McDonald print. And then I would fall through it. And then there were two Ronald McDonald prints. And I'd fall through that. And then three walls would be covered with the Ronald McDonald print. Then I'd fall through that, and four would be covered. Then five, then six. And then past that point, the walls became ten-sided, and there was Ronald McDonald's on every side, and you just kept falling through, and falling through, and falling through. And... That's not even the worst of it. You know, my brother, the, the reason I'm here, asshole, he used to play like he was possessed, like. So, you remember the ice monster Titan in Hercules? We had this toy of him, right? Um, but for some reason we were calling him at the 
at that point the hail monster and Edward was starting to play like he was possessed by the hail monster um, and, the, and the hail monster didn't really do anything except just talk in this high pitched voice and tell me that he was going to kill me and I've already gotten rid of Edward's soul, and now I'm gonna take yours. And it was this whole like plot line with it too. Eventually, that hail monster, who was later named Elmo, became a good hail monster, but he was possessed by another evil hail monster, both inside Edward's body, like both doubly possessing him, like both hands up his asshole, and just like talking out of both like a, like a Janus head. And, oh my gosh, it was terrifying. And I haven't even gone over some of the video game stuff that scared me, like uh, Baron Samedi and Goldeneye. Oh my gosh, that laugh? It's so freaky! And I couldn't even, like, I would get up to Cradle in that game, and I wouldn't finish Cradle because I was worried that it would auto-start the mission for some reason, where Baron Samedi was in. But, like, he's on it for, like, another two missions after that. And also, missions don't auto-start in GoldenEye like that, so I don't know why I was scared of it. But also, there was in uh, Bomberman Hero, there were two bosses I was actually scared of. There was Endol the Catfish, then there was Bogular, and he had this laugh, this <laughs> And I don't know why it, it made my skin curl. Uh, you know, I was like, 14 or 15 when I finally sat down and would sit in the same room as that boss being completed. It's nuts. I was a scared little boy. And, and, and like all of it, it's like I'm scared of things making fun of me. I'm scared of... I don't know. It's just like... It's like life's making fun of me. I don't, I don't like to be made the fool. Would it make you feel better if we put this on the wall? No. No. It's, it's too late. It's already inside me. I can't help you if you won't tell me everything. We're close to a breakthrough here. You can get past this. Help me connect the dots. I don't have an answer for you, Doc. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know how I can fix this. It seems to me, and I can't tell when or how, but you've developed a deep-seated case of coulrophobia. It's fear of clowns, David. 